I'm gonna wear this today. Squirt it all over. <laughs> the new confetti cookie. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today we are doing a Waikiki food tour. If you guys are new here, my name is Ridge. It's like Bridge without the B. And if you guys love food, make sure you subscribe because today we're eating a lot of food in Waikiki. All right, come on, let's eat together. Hi guys, good morning. We are at uh, Waikiki, we're on Beach Walk and we are at Honolulu Cookie Company for a media event. We're gonna dip cookies today, so I'm gonna bring you guys with me and we're gonna see how it's done. Uh, we're kind of early too, but I'm super excited. You can tell that we love cookies. We're at the Beach Walk location and everything looks so good inside. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming. Nice to meet you. Hi. Oh, thank you. Sandy, this is you. So and then cute. one more note too. On this side, um, we're gifting each of you guys a $50 in-store shopping. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. So <laughs> now, so you oh, guys can do That's easy. Shop. Don't worry about it. Okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. So, so enjoy. There's some other goodies in there too. Okay, but thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. Recently just launched this new cookie. It's a confetti cookie and it's for their birthday. So today we're going to... Oh, right here. This is cute. Cute, I love that First, we're gonna dip some cookies. There it goes. Nice. She's an expert. Hi. I work here part time. Ooh. Oh, no. nice. You know those cookies that you see on the airplanes on Hawaiian Airlines? This is the one. This is the new confetti cookie. They're celebrating 25 years, so we're doing a dipping experience. And all you're gonna do is dip it in. This is like a white chocolate. So we have the white chocolate dip cookie. This is the butter shortbread cookie. This is like their OG one. Yay! I'm gonna have to say mine's were cuter. We just finished. Look at my dip cookies. Okay, can you guys tell me the truth? Let me know in the comments if it's actually good. Good. Which one's, which which one's cuter? cuter? The most like body to the like the top, like a waist. Liz, then, pick yeah, one. This one. Come on, Liz. This one cute, and that one. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that one is almost perfect in this one too. Did you hear that, guys? Okay. Liz yeah. called it perfect. Thank <laughs> you. Oh my gosh, long time no see. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is my prom date back in high school, yes, literally. literally. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Mahalo. Okay, thanks guys. Thank you guys. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Day. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. We are in Lawson's. One of my favorite spots is this convenience store at the Sheraton Waikiki. And their onigiris are so good, but we're gonna have a big lunch after. So I just came here for one thing only. Yes. I didn't realize how much hot foods are here, so I might do a 24 hours in a convenience store video next. Guys, my favorite thing to get in Waikiki is Lawson's stations olden it's so good uh when i used to work in waikiki like a long time ago i used to eat this almost every morning for breakfast and let me show you guys what i got today i got agi balls which is like fish cake this is a daikon or otherwise known as like radish i like when it's super soft and soaked with all the broth and i got a crunchy little arubiki sausage and i got ikamaki mm. the squid is so good i give this one then you know all, they're all 10 out of 10s, like literally, it's so good. I like the agi balls because you just pop them in your mouth. The best way to eat it is to burn your mouth because it tastes so much better when it's like burning hot. Look at all that juice coming out. It's so soft and moist. I love this. It's so good. I also like eating this in pork tonjiru, like a pork miso soup. 
And last, let's try the Arapiki sausage. This is one of my favorites. Mmm. That crunch though. The best part of all. <sighs> Amazing. It's so good. It's perfect for like when you're cold, when it's raining, or when you're sick. It's even good when it's like really hot in Waikiki like today, but I just had to eat it. Because I'm not in Waikiki as often, but I say that every single video, like we're never in Waikiki, but I feel like we're always in Waikiki now, so... Mm. Okay, so last time I got the Madagascar vanilla matcha, but I think today I'm gonna get a dirty matcha because you know I love my coffee. Hi, may I have a, a dirty matcha with oat milk, please? A rich R-I-T-G-E. I got the strawberry matcha with oat milk. Okay, it's a shake really well. Ooh, it looks so refreshing. Secure the matcha. I got a dirty matcha and it is their matcha latte and I upgraded it to oat milk and there's also some espresso shots in here. Mm. So good. There's a strong matcha flavor. I give this an 8 out of 10. We got our matcha and now I want some ramen. We are at Sticks Asia, and now we're gonna get some ramen. Let's go. So, when they used to be called Yokocho before they closed down before COVID, I used to come here all the time. It's called Baiko Ken, and I used to get this one. This is the Shio ramen, and it is so good. This is my favorite ramen in Hawaii. But the green onions are so good. And then mine was $16. I also love adding the red shimmy and the black pepper. Mm. The bamboo is so soft and chewy at the same time. Mm. I mean, look how thick they are. So the char to like the pork is so thinly sliced. but it's packed with flavor. The Nike, the green onions are so good here. Mm. My favorite thing about this place is the broth. It's so nice and light and refreshing and clear, but also so flavorful at the same time, but not like too flavorful where you're like super tired afterwards, you know what I mean? I don't give 10 out of 10s often, but 10 out of 10, guys. One of my favorites, if not my actual favorite, but the flavor is not as strong. If you guys like strong ramen, you guys aren't gonna like this. But if you guys like strong, I would get the shoyu or the miso, but if you guys like nice, light, clean broths, you guys will like the shiro ramen. The luau is done. We are gonna get some dessert in Waikiki. Here's the milk. Thank you so much. Here's a strawberry shea vice. And one more. Thank you. Okay, actually, it is pretty fair. Thank you. 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 It's not like sweet. I don't think that it's syrup. I think it's made with fresh strawberries. Mm. It's very icy. I give this one a 7 out of 10. Now we have the milk tea with boba. Let's try the milk tea. Oh, this one's good. I think I like this one more than the first one. The boba is more like a jelly. It's really soft though. And let's try the whipped cream at the top. I give this one an 8.5 out of 10. And last we have matcha with azuki. Matcha is my favorite, so let's see how this tastes. Wow, the matcha is really strong. I give this a 9 out of 10. This one's really good. My favorite part is the azuki. It's really soft and flavorful. And there's condensed milk on this one as well. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Really? It is a matcha powder. Mm. Azuki is so good. Cheers.
I think I'm drinking milk tea. I'll give that like eight out of ten. It actually tastes like an actual strawberry, <laughs> more than I expected. So I'm give it a seven point five. Welcome to today's food tour. We're wearing Mikey here. <laughs> <laughs> We are starting off with the bacon patty melt. The bacon patty melt is $13.50 and there is provolone, cheddar, American, and mozzarella cheese. Four types of cheeses, it's literally packed with cheese. As for like what's on the inside, it's a burger patty. There is caramelized onions, bacon, and I think maybe pickled jalapenos. Next, we're gonna try the creamy tomato basil soup. And I'm assuming it's gonna be like a tomato bisque. Cheers, let's try it. Mm. Oh my gosh. Let's dip it in the tomato soup. Mm. There's a lot of flavor. I'll tell you that. There's a lot of flavor in this. I think that I would like this a lot more if it was just bacon and cheese. I think that the burger patty is throwing it off for me. The soup's really good. I give this soup a 7 out of 10. The cheese patty, I would give it if it was just bacon at 8 out of 10. Alright, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Tastes like a pizza. Sandy also got the bacon patty milk. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. <laughs> okay, it's really stuffed with meat, so it's kind of greasy. So if you're looking for like a late night kind of eat, this will be good for you. I'll give this like a 7 out of 10. I'm gonna try this soup by itself now. I love the bacon. The bacon is good. It's just a little too creamy for me, so I give this a 7 out of 10. Okay, we're trying with the aioli now. Cheers. Mmm. This made it so much better. Alright guys, we are at Sticks Waikiki and we're downstairs and we're gonna get some hojicha lattes. Today tastes better. I like it way more than the last time. Last time I was kind of like chunky with the tea, but this one is really smooth. I like it. 7.5 out of 10. I've been craving udon, so I'm super excited. We're gonna eat at Tsuru Tontan right now. Alright guys, we are now at the Pink Palace, otherwise known as the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. Let's go. Hold on guys, I want to show you guys. Look how pretty this place is. <laughs> it's so pretty here. I would literally come here so often and eat the banana bread, so I want to show you guys what I would get. Alright guys, change of plans. They are actually closed. We're gonna come here another day for another video, but I need you guys to try this banana bread. They're like in cute little cupcakes. We'll do this in the next Waikiki episode. I'm at Dean and Lucas. I'm gonna get a Hawaiian honey latte. Wow. Very sweet, very honey, very very much a honey latte. Lots of oat milk, not as much espresso. I wish that this had more espresso. This was 6.50, I give this a 7.5 out of 10. Still good coffee. I don't post as much selfies on Instagram as I should be, so we took some time to take some selfies. Go like it on Instagram, at Rich.Hayashi. 
Before we get started, I got a package from Uniqlo. Let's open it together. It looks like a tote bag. Let's see what's inside. And I got a t-shirt. Uniqlo knows I love my oversized clothing. And ooh, wow, this looks so good. I can definitely wear this as an inside shirt or just by itself. Guys, this is so nice. Thank you so much, Uniqlo. I'm gonna wear this today. I'll see you later. Bye, Tempura. Bye, kiddo. I'll see you later. I feel like it also goes well with like a lot of my overshirt, so I do want to get like a bunch of different colors. But now we are off to get some lobster rolls. Let's go. All right, guys, we are now at the Waikiki Shopping Plaza, and we're gonna head over to Royal Lobster. They're located like in the basement, so let's go check it out. All right guys, we are at Royal Lobster and we're gonna try their lobster roll. This is their regular lobster roll and it comes with chips and coleslaw. And then we also have extra lobster on top. So market price today was $29 and then for extra lobster, it's $11 or $12. And then we also got tomato, not tomato bisque, lobster bisque. I've never had lobster bisque other than the one from Costco. So I'm super excited to try this. It kind of looks like tomato bisque. The server recommended that we use the pepper on the chips and the coleslaw. And the Old Bay, we're just gonna sprinkle all all over the lobster just for like extra spice first we're gonna pour some lemon squirt it all over because I love extra lemon it looks very simple it's just lobster the roll and I believe there's a lot of butter loaded on here it's soaked with butter my hands are all full of butter now let's try it for the first time mm. Mm. Overall, the lobster is very fresh. It tastes very juicy. It's plump. There's a lot of butter on here. If you guys love lobster, you will love this. Let's try the coleslaw now. I'm gonna put it onto the lobster roll. Adding some garlic mayo. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, wow. The coleslaw adds a really nice crunch. And the garlic mayo adds a nice, like, spice. Mm. Cheers, let's try it. Mm. Let's try it with the Old Bay seasoning now. Mm. It has a more spice flavor. Mm, definitely put it with the Old Bay seasoning. Lobster bisque. Ooh, yum, Bridget, you're gonna love that. Now let's try the lobster bisque. Wow. Mm. This is really good. It's very smooth. There's no like lobster bites or lobster chunks in here. Guys, look at all of that lobster. Every single bite, there's so much lobster. Mm -hmm. So much meat packed in this lobster. It's crazy. Market price today was $29, and then with the additional lobster, it came out to like $11, so altogether about $42 for the sandwich. Let me know where you guys think I should get lobster rolls next, because I haven't found any except for this place. Mm -hmm. This is my first time having a lobster roll, like, ever, and I'm so glad I had my first experience here. The lobster rolls were really fresh. The lobster was really plump. It was, like, so buttery as well. With the Old Bay seasoning, it was leveled up. With the coleslaw, it was like a, it tasted like banh mi, like pickled vegetables. It was really nice contrast. Located in the Waikiki Shopping Plaza, and they validate parking for three hours, bestie. So come on over. They're located on the basement floor, and get your lobster roll on. Thank you so much, Royal Lobster, for having us. We had so much fun. Everything was so, so good. good. All right, friends, we are ending this vlog at Throw Soft Serve. Flavors change every single month, so this month I just had to show you guys because it's all so good. We have banana Oreo, Biscoff Roche, uh, strawberry guava. This one is non-dairy. We have ube, uh, the signature, the OG, uh, taro shortcake, and brown sugar milk. Banana Oreo first. Mm. This one reminds me of like the Korean banana milk mixed with Oreos. Next, Biscoff Roche. This is like the Ferrero Roche with Biscoff, so like a cookie butter flavor. Mmm. This one has like strong notes of Nutella. So if you guys like Nutella, this is the one for you. Strawberry guava, this one is non-dairy. 
Mm. If you guys have like the Hawaiian Center Aloha made, this tastes like the passion guava juice. It's so good. Definitely one of my favorites this month. Ube with Fruity Pebbles. Mm. Amazing, this one's always a 10 out of 10. Next we have Taro Shortcake. This one kind of tastes like a wedding cake, like a white cake mixed with like a taro bubble tea. This one's really nice. I would say that my two favorites this month is the brown sugar milk and the strawberry guava. Definitely try these. I know that this is a Waikiki food tour, but the Rose is located right across the Alamoana Shopping Center, literally like three minutes outside of Waikiki. Comment down below which ice cream flavor is your favorite flavor. Mm -hmm. And don't mind me, I'm just gonna finish all this right now. <laughs> Friends, I had so much fun. Thank you so much for watching today's Waikiki food tour video. If you guys enjoyed it, please subscribe and check back next week for next week's episode. Also, don't forget to follow my TikTok and Instagram at ridge.hayashi. And other than that, let me know in the comments where you guys want me to try next. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.